Once this month is over, like that's it. It's gonna be May and I'm gonna be bringing a baby home and I feel like I'm so behind on everything. Hello. I'm just outside in the front yard right now because I really needed to sit my butt on the ground and just sort of like ground myself and <laughs> connect with nature in a way. I think I've talked about this before where I, I like to physically ground myself whenever I'm getting a little bit too anxious over things. So sometimes just coming out and touching the ground really makes a big difference and just takes everything from up here back down to here for me. Plus the clouds are just looking gorgeous right now. Little health updates, um, Cam's better. I am I was better after a day and a half. No other sign other than that little sore throat that I had for a day and a half. Totally fine. I'm so relieved. Kieran still has a little bit of nasal congestion and a little bit of like a, I don't know, like probably post nasal drip cough thing going on, but I think within the next couple of days he's going to be fine. But anyway, yeah, I was kind of getting a, a bit of anxiety because I have so much that I have to accomplish this month. We're already nearly a week into April. I kind of feel like we were set back a bit by all getting sick and everything, but I have so much to get done and I feel like I'm running out of time because once this month is over, like that's it. It's going to be May and I'm going to be bringing a baby home. Like I need to get everything done this month month and I feel like I'm so behind on everything. We did just hire a manager for our four unit property so th and they're bilingual so that's wonderful. They're gonna be taking care of us and getting some tenants in the other two units because our mortgage payment, our first mortgage payment is in May. So we're hoping to, to have people in those units so our mortgage payment can be covered by May. He's already got somebody that's gonna be moving in ASAP and then hopefully another family is going to be moving into the other one as soon as possible and um, that just takes a load of <laughs> stress off of our plate. Yeah that uh, escrow took so much longer than we were expecting it to and while you're in escrow you kind of can't go buy a car and things like like that so now we're like down to the wire of needing a family car and we we haven't even looked yet and now that that's all closed and taken care of we can finally start looking for a family car. Yeah, there's just, there's so many things. I, I wanted to have my maternity pictures done like two weeks ago, but it's been raining on the weekends and then we got sick. So I didn't think it'd be really nice for us to have photos with all of us, you know. So that's something we have to get done. I want to get all the patio furniture like moved out to the patio so we have somewhere nice to sit when it's decent out. I've got pretty much everything downstairs completely organized and cleaned up except for the refrigerator. That's one thing that we do need to finish hopefully this weekend. And then once we have the the yard done, like the patio furniture in the yard done and then the refrigerator done, everything downstairs is going to be finished so then I can start focusing upstairs which is something that I've been really meaning to get to. My closet has sort of become the landing zone for things that don't have places to go. A lot of Kieran's baby stuff, like his swing and his bouncer and, and stuff like that has sort of just like landed in my closet. So I need to organize all of that. And then on top of all of that stuff that we have to do, I have twice weekly NSTs and BPPs coming. And that's gonna be a lot of traveling from here to, to Los Angeles. Or actually, it'll be in Santa Monica because that's where they do the NSTs. So that's gonna be a longer commute and it's, it's gonna be super early in the mornings. Oh gosh, twice twice a week. That's gonna be, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> but we're doing that because, you know, obviously I want the, the more, not that they're more qualified, but a team that I'm familiar with and people that I'm comfortable with that know my loss history and who are going to, you know, give me the care that I need. What else? Uh, yes, register at the hospital. I forgot to do that last time, so <laughs> this coming week I'm gonna be doing that, registering at the hospital for my induction. 
oh, my my childhood best friend is going to be coming to visit me. I haven't seen her in, in probably about six years. So she's going to be visiting with her mother, and I'm really excited to see them at some point this month. And we got to finish the nursery, and I have a promo to film. Lots of, lots of stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling a lot better. Let's go back inside. figure out how to get this out. Gotta wipe it down a bit because it's been uh, sitting in a dusty garage for a long time. Atticus, what are you doing, buddy? I think I'm gonna have Cam put another coat of the uh, stain on here just because it looks like it dried out a bit in the garage. This is still looking in pretty good shape, but you know, probably needs some sort of conditioning oil or something. I'm quite happy and the cats look pretty happy too. You happy? Coco, what do you think? Coco's never been out here with the furniture before. It's okay. Yeah, it's really nice. I feel like we have our yard back. I don't know if anybody... Hi, Damien. Hello. If anybody caught these beautiful um, yellow aster uh, pillowcases that I got for the outside pillows, but I just thought that would be really nice for, you know, welcoming baby girl home next month. Yes, yes, you're a very happy cat, indeed. All you guys are happy, huh? Honestly, I think they've been a little stir-crazy inside. Once Kieran wakes up from his nap, I really want to go out and, um, run some errands. I want to pick up some mulching straw for my planter bed. Because now that the uh, rainy season has passed, it's going to be a lot harder to keep the soil moist, so I want to put some straw in there. And then also Coco likes to roll around in the dirt, and I don't want her getting dirt on my um, my patio furniture, so that'll help mitigate that. Yes, Damien, I see you. Yes, everyone loves you. Everyone loves you, Damien. <laughs> I also think I just need to get out of the house. I'm about to show Kieran in the backyard since he hasn't seen the furniture since he was really, really little. Yeah, what you think, buddy? Is there a bunch of stuff out here that you're not familiar with? Yeah, yeah you remember? <laughs> he looks so much bigger than last last year when he was sitting on this. Oh my goodness. All right, shall we go get lunch? I'm so jealous of your raw salmon. It looks so good. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay. Oh yeah. This adds the perfect touch. Hey buddy. You can play with that tomorrow when it's warm out. Okay, that is actually one thing that I forgot to put on my list of things that I have to do this month. I don't know if some of you saw that that Zoom meeting that I was in with my lost mom friends. And I've, I've talked about my lost mom friend group for a while. We started a podcast. We film every Sunday and I had not had the pleasure of joining in un just until this week. So I, I really enjoyed filming that with my friends. It was really nice to see them face to face and sort of, um, you know, kind of like have a hangout with them. But that was another thing, another <laughs> thing that I added to my list of, you know, endless things that I need to accomplish this month is to get on the podcast and to, you know, participate with my friends. So it is a very new podcast. What we just filmed, I believe, is the fourth episode. It's called Motherhood No Trigger Warning. So basically, you know, all of us are just kind of openly discussing our loss and, you know, loss related topics and, you know, things of uh, related to grief and um, just life after loss, life during loss, you know, pregnancy after loss, those types of themes in general. I know that um, each of us is going to be sharing our own personal stories in different episodes. I think our friend Kelsey is 
her episode's going live this week. And then the one that we just filmed tonight will be going live next week. If you're interested in seeing that podcast, I will have a link in the description box below. They truly are... Like, I don't know where I would be without these women. They have really just made my life so much better and... I can't imagine not having them in my life for the rest of my lives. Like, we we refer to each other as, like, sisters, and we refer to our, like, rainbow babies as cousins and everything. Like, I really just truly love these women. They are my ride or dies every single day. And um, this project means a lot to us. It is still really in its infancy. So um, we're still working out the kinks and everything. But I'm really hoping that we can turn it into something amazing. So go ahead and check out the links in the description box below. And um, yeah, subscribe if you're interested in that kind of content. I think we are also going to be opening it up to, um, you know, the public. So if you want to share your story, if you actually want to come on the podcast and like sort of do a a zoom call with us to share your story like we would love that oh there was a lot more that i wanted to vlog outside in the the backyard oasis um in terms of like gardening and all that stuff that that i was doing today but our neighbors had a really big birthday party next door so i just didn't feel like i wanted to try to um film around them enjoying themselves so i'm sure i'll i'll show that stuff in another vlog in the future. Anyway, we gotta get Kieran into his bath and get him down for bed. I have a big, big week ahead and I believe we're gonna be, yeah, registering for the hospital is this week. I really hope I don't forget to grab that paper from the OB. Thanks for watching and I will chat with you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.